Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Abermance, in the Abermancia Peninsula. And yeah, you haven't got to go and check your eyes. I am wearing iron armor, I am holding an iron sword, I have iron tools, and I have an unenchanted bow. Now, the reason for that is, if you've seen the last few episodes, is I got absolutely whooped by the Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragon lifted me in the air, played footsie with me, logged me around like a little kitten and then bit my face off. And as a result, I've lost loads of stuff. I've lost my armor, I've lost my weapons, I've lost a load of other bits and pieces as well. It was an absolute whitewash of carnage of, it was just horrible. It was full on horror and I was just a mess. And as a result, I'm now no longer undefeated in this server. I've been killed twice and both times was in the end. In the overworld? Nope. Survived. In the nether? Nope. Survived. In the end? Well, I can tell you now it's end to Avo nil. And I'm going to put pay to that one. I can tell you that for nothing. But we're not going to do it in this episode. This episode, I am licking my wounds. And one of the wounds was off the back of the creeper that exploded just next to me. But we're not going to talk about that. In the background, you can see that we've got Avadale Keys is there. It has got two houses on it, but it is already the gone at the end of June, which means that the June competition is ready for a draw, and we're going to draw that at some point in today's episode. So look forward to drawing that June competition. But we're going to do today something nice and simple and gentle and something that's not going to tax me too much because I'm too busy wound licking. Let's get on with it. So what we're going to do that is so very gentle is we're going to make a wool farm. Yeah, I know it's not very exciting. It doesn't involve creepers. Well, it might do if they creep up on me and it doesn't involve anything that's going to go really, really boom. But actually, I use wool a lot and I haven't got nearly enough here. And as a result, I need to start building up on it. And I'm going to use some of the sheep. There's a load of sheep over there. I'm going to get them over there by luring them in, holding some food. And then I'm going to start shoving them in here. I'm going to start dyeing their wool with some of the dye stuffs that I've got. And then I'll be able to start to get myself a nice multicolored wool farm. I'm doing a really simple version first. And then I can kind of grow it and get sorting systems and things like that involved. But right now, it's just a dead simple version. And of course, the sun is starting to go down. So we better get wriggling. First thing we're going to do, and I don't want to get, I don't want that. But that's where we're going to start. I'm going to get, I need to dig a trench first off. And the trench is going to, God, this iron shovel is going to kill me. My, oh, my diamond shovel is so much, so much easier. So we're going to start in from here. This being one, this doesn't count, this doesn't count, this doesn't count. This being one, we're going to dig 18 in that direction first off. So that's one, two, three, four, five. You can count, right? That's 18, and then one more for luck. And then we've just got to go two wide. So let's get this two wide all the way back. There we go. Right, now the next thing we've got to do is to dig it another one deep. Yep, I know it seems like a bit of a waste of time. I could have done it as I was going, couldn't I? But we're going to dig it one more deep all the way along. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to select, hang on, we've picked up the wrong one. We're going to come about halfway. Now, this isn't critical. So about halfway is what, about there. And we're going to dig out two more like that. And we're going to shove a redstone torch on one, a redstone torch on another. It doesn't matter which side you do it. It's absolutely fine. And then what we're going to do is we are going to, hang on, I've got to think about how I'm going to do this now. So now what I need to do, no, that's got to go down two. Come on, Avo, you know better than that. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. That's got to go down there and there. I'm then going to get myself a redstone torch there and a redstone torch there. I've now got to get myself out. Didn't think about that one too hard, did I? I'm um, going to get, where's my, where's my dirt? There's my dirt. So let's put that back there. And then we're going to put a thing there and a thing there. And what that allows us to do is to put a powered rail like that. And we're going to run the powered rail all the way along. Now, I've got loads of powered rail because of my gold farm. So I'm being, oh, that one's no good. Let's get rid of that one. There you go. So it gives you power all the way along. And then we're going there. If you wanted to, you could just use a few powered rails uh, and have more redstone torches. But I'm just going along here until it runs out, which is there. And I'm going to get 
get rid of that. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to get some. I'm going to have to. I'm going to run out of rails, aren't I? For goodness sake. Right. So we're going to have that one there. And then we've got to come along, 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 and along. Then we're going to get more powered rails. I'm some normal rails short, which is very annoying. I'm going to come along here. And when we go over the power button, that's going to power the whole lot. You can see all the way up. And then we're going to come along to the end here. Now, if I put one there, that's not going to be powered. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to come back and get four more unpowered rails. So let's go and get those, shall we? I'm, I'm hoping I've got them. Let's, let's run. Run, sir, for goodness sake. Right, so we're going to go and try and get some unpowered rails which I'm pretty sure I have got some of in my storage. Um, and I need four. I just need four. It's not many. I'm just a little bit short because I've gone a little bit further than I thought. Which one is it? Is it that one? Yeah. So let's get those. That'll do. More than I need. Always best to have extra. Otherwise you run out the way I just did, which is really irritating. So run. Run like the wind, other man. You can get back just in time for there to be mobs. And now I've got to fight the mobs because they're in the way. Yeah, I know. I've only got an iron sword. It's not very exciting. And the Enderman's there as well. I've got a real problem with Enderman at the moment because they're one of the reasons I finished off in the end. So don't look at the Enderman. Don't look at him. You know, you don't want to look at the Enderman. Come up back to where you're meant to be. There we go. Right. So we've got that kind of set up, if you like. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a minecart with a hopper. We're going to dig out these two here. We're going to get our minecart with a hopper. We're going to shove it there. And we're going to give it... Oh, no, we're not. We're not going to do that yet. Because if we do that now, we're not going to finish the round. I'm not concentrating because the spiders. That comes there. That comes there. That comes there. And that comes there. Now, it's really important that you do it in the order that I just did it. Because if you don't... They'll start to go the wrong way. And that's really, really irritating. So come back up and give your minecart with Hopper a bit of a nudge. Right, that'll now just carry on and carry on and carry on. And it'll be very happy going round and round and round. Then what we're going to do is we are going to come there. And we're going to fill it in all the way across. I'll get rid of that in a minute. <coughs> Yes, yes, they're now starting to come and get me again. They know that I'm not tooled up anymore, which is no good. I need to get myself tooled up again, otherwise I'm just going to be a grumpy avo. So I'm just going to fill this all in. That's just going to carry on and carry on under there. I am, however, going to put a block there so as I know where the end is. God, don't say the word. I don't say the end. The end just gives me shivers now. That's not good. All right, let's get rid of that. And then what we're going to do is we are going to get... I've done this a little bit wrong again, haven't I? Right, so uh, it's me. I'm just not concentrating. I'm a grumpy avo. Right, so we're going to come down here and take that. I am also going to take that and that. Wait for this fella to come. And I'm going to get that. I'll have you. Thank you very much. And of course, now I've got a minecart and a hopper because I didn't use silk touch because I've lost my silk touch. So I'm going to have to go and get another minecart with hopper or at least craft one. And that's just irritating. So let's go there. And they're like that. Okay, so we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We haven't quite fluffed up yet. So we're going to have four hoppers and two chests. Where's my chests? Those chests stack. Have a man's coming. You know that, right? So then we're going to have. So not there. Not there. Here. And here we're going to have the chest, and then we're going to shove hoppers in like that. Then we're going to get our. Where's it gone? There it is. I'm going to get our unpowered rails and shift click there, there. No, well, I can't do that. See, that's what happens. It's very annoying, isn't it? There, there. I've got to get rid of that as well. And there. Whoop. Shift click there and there and then there and turn the corner and that way it works. I can then get those back out because they went into the hoppers. Happy days. I need to go and... Oh, got to go and craft that now. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Right, so we've managed to get this bit you know, completed and filled up. And what we've got is the hoppers pointing into there and we've got enough of the rails coming around and that, mi that minecart with hopper is just flipping backwards and forwards very nicely, thank you. And I've made an entrance to this kind of 
undergroundy bit, almost undergroundy bit in it, down here off of this road. So that works quite well. It goes down and in. Then what we need to do is I need to get that filled up. It's good. I'm glad this is all grassing over because that's actually quite important for what it is we are trying to achieve. I'm going to come and do something with that in a minute, but we're going to come across to this um, block because we want to be able to create a um, an enclosure, for want of a better phrase. So we're going to come along and we're going to create one, two, and we need it kind of two by two on the inside. So you can see that's two by two. That comes up like that and that comes up like that. So that's what we're trying to achieve. We've got two by two on the inside. So one, two, three, four. I don't know why I just put those there like that. So now I've got to get them out. One, two, three, four, like that. Right, so that is the enclosure we're building. And then we are going to build it up another one height, like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to repeat that by coming one, two, one, two. Like that, and we're just going to carry on going like that. I'm going to have to move this fella. Oh no, maybe I don't have to. It'd be good to keep it light. And then we're going to get, I've got some gates. Where's my gates? There we go. So I've got some gates, and we're going to put a gate there and there, there and there, there and there. And we're going to carry on and do another three, I think. Yeah, I've just got room for one more. That's it, and then get okay there and there. No, not there. Okay there and there. Okay there and there. Okay there and there. Okay, so these are our pods for our sheep. Now this is not very pretty at the moment, and frankly, I think for the purpose of this particular video, we're probably not going to make it very pretty either. And you can extend this. I mean, if I wanted to, I could extend this another one actually. You know what? I think I will. Let's get. Where's me wood? Let's get my wood there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. Gate okay, and gate. Okay, so we've got how many pods we got? One, two, three, four, five, seven pods. That's not too bad. And plenty of space just here. So let's fill in. Uh, where's my dirt? There's some dirt. Let's fill in that there and there because we don't need that to be anything but that. I'll think about how we're going to make this slightly more pretty. Have I got any steps left? Just I do. And I'm going to put a step there and a step there. That will do. I'm not worried about the innards of that at the moment. I think I can do something with that another time just to perhaps make that a little prettier. I don't know if I'm that bothered, to be honest. Right, so that's empty at the minute, yeah? So there we go. So we've got the sheep pods. Uh, and they look all right, actually. I'm quite happy with the podage that these sheep pods have given us. I do want to eventually put some roofs on there as well, but I'm not gonna do that at the moment because what I wanna do is I wanna go and get some sheep. Uh, so I'm just gonna wander over here and get a load of sheep. Actually, I'm not gonna do that yet because I need to get the sheep food. I'm not concentrating. Let's get some sheep food and go and find some sheep. Now, I have found a number of sheep on my travels, except I have to keep going back and reminding them that I've got their dinner in my hand. And then they keep forgetting. It's quite funny, really. Come on, sheep. Look, look I've got your foods. I've got your food. Do you want some food? Keep coming. And I'll feed you. I shall feed you. In fact, I'm not lying. I shall feed you. You keep coming along. Keep coming. Look, yeah, I've got your food. I feel like the Pied Piper of sheepage. And coming down here. Keep coming, sheep. There you go. They're not all going to make it. I know they won't, but you just keep coming down. And bringing these sheep down is hilarious. Look coming this way keep coming oi sheepy look I've got your dinner you're not interested in the dinner anymore no all right then well you lot come then that's weird those sheep didn't want to eat maybe I'm sure I didn't feed them but I, I don't need too many at the moment anyway I just need a few in fact it might be easier with just a few no, don't get bored don't get bored don't get bored Oh look, they keep getting bored. Okay, in the comments below, do you find sheep get bored? I'm going to have to come back and get those ones in a minute. So we're just going to keep these sheep coming. There we go. Come up the stairs. There you go. Come on. Foodie, foodie. Foodie, foodie. Foodie, foodie. And what we're going to do is we're going to try 
and get one sheep in. Nudge the others out really gently. That's one sheep in there. I'm going to nudge this sheep in here. Actually, I'm not going to nudge it. I'm just going to walk in and let it come in after me. Come on then. No, I don't want both of you. I just want one of you. You can come out. You can get in. There we go. And then you can come along here. In you come. Come on, sheepy. This is your new home. I can nudge you in. And I'll shut the gate after you. So, now what I want to do is I want to get um, a sheep in each compartment here, just like that. And then I'm going to come along and I'm going to dye the wool of the sheep. So, I'm just going to come back, try and get these fellas here. Hopefully, they're not bored of me. Are you bored of me? Don't be bored of me, sheepies. Look, I have lots of uh, lovely foods for you. Yeah, see, now you're not bored. Now you love me. I'm going to come and get another couple. There we go. That's three. And I just need one more. Come on, fella. Look what I've got in my hand for you. Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. Right, so I'm going to come and fill up these pods and go and get some dyes. So we've got sheep in every compartment. One sheep, look, all the way along in every compartment. Now, what we're going to do is create some dyes. And we've got various dye stuffs in here already. I've already made the cactus green simply because you don't mix that in a crafting table. You mix that or create that in a uh, furnace. And the recipe for cactus green is up on the screen right now. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take that cactus green, thank you very much, and I'm going to actually, I'm going to put some of this stuff in here because it's in my way. Get rid of that. So we're going to have the cactus green there. But what we're going to do is we're going to start to craft stuff. The ink sack will directly make a sheep black, which is fabulous. What we need is dandelions, poppies, and peonies. So if we get the peony into the crafting table, that gives us two pink dyes, which is good. If we put the dandelion in, that gives us two yellow dyes. And if we put the poppies in, we put two red dyes. Then, if we get a red dye and a yellow dye, we get two orange dyes. So we've now got one, two, three, four, five, six different colours. And we just happen to have seven different sheep. So what we're going to do is we're going to come along and I'm going to hold my dye in my hand and I'm just going to right click on this sheep. Bang! I now have a green sheep. Yes I do. I'm going to get this ink sack and I'm going to get right click on the sheep and it's a black sheep. I'm going to get, where am I? Let's get that one. We're going to come along, we're going to get a, a pink sheep. Then we're going to come here and we're going to get a red sheep. Then we're going to come here, we're going to get a yellow sheep and we're going to have you can tell us where it's going. An orange sheep and a white sheep. And that is basically the way we go here. Now you can also, so for example, if we had a white sheep and a red sheep and bred them, you could end up with a pink sheep. And I could carry on, I could make a blue sheep if I had lapis lazuli and stuff like that. Grey sheep, light grey sheep, dark grey sheep. There's lots and lots of different colours. And eventually, hopefully, we'll make this into... Um, a system that allows me to get all of them. Let's just show that little bit of dye back in there because I only need one of each. Right, that was easy. Now I need to get some shears, which means uh, I, I didn't bring any, did I? No, I'll go and get some shears. Right, we've got our shears and we're going to try and demonstrate. Let's get it all the way out to this end now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get our green sheep and we're going to right click on him and that wall disappears eventually when the thing comes past. But can I see it? No, the sheep got in the way. Because he's on grass, this sheep will eat the grass and grow his wool back. However, I'm pretty sure he probably comes back. Doesn't that come back um, white? Well, there's an experiment. I've just managed to catch that black wool. Pink wool. Red wool. Yellow wool. I'm catching some of it, which is fine, but if I don't catch it and it stays in the compound, that's fine too. So we've got a little bit of black wool, some red wool, some yellow wool, and some white wool in my hand that we caught as we went past. And there is the rest of it. So let's just put that all back in there. So we've got a decent start. Now, as I say, you could create some kind of item sorter that sorted all of the wolves, and that's really quite a nice idea. I also put a torch there just to keep it light, by the way, and a torch on the front of all of these. So now what I want to know is, do all of these... Look, no, they grow back the right colour! 
Yeah, so we cut him. And we cut... Oh, something went right today. Thank goodness for that. And we cut her. And the poor sheeps. And we cut her a lot. And actually, that's a really nice way of making the sheeps a little bit chilly. Which is always nice. I love that. And we'll come around here. Come down and... Yep, the wall is starting to collect up. So, it is working. That is a fully functional... Would you call it a wool farm? I suppose you could call it a wool farm. But what I'm really pleased about is the fact that it does grow back the right colour for you. Thank goodness for that. That could have got very embarrassing. Right, I reckon it's time to go and do a bit of mate space. What do you reckon? Let's get over there now. Right, so we are at the mate space. I'm going to grab myself a sign. So... Today, quite a lot went wrong, didn't it? That was a bit of a, a mess up day. Sat me licking my wounds as a result of the ender dragon, not just eating my face, but eating off my entire head. But now I feel better because I am now in the mate's base. And the mate's base is actually one of my favorite places on the entire server. And this might just be one of my favorite mate's bases so far. Right, so episode 36. Today, I want to give the mate's space space to someone that I was actually watching watch me the other day. It's a little bit weird to say that out loud, but I got sent a video about two weeks ago-ish of somebody watching one of my videos on a Saturday morning, and it was an absolute delight. It brought a smile to my face for the entire weekend, and actually, it just made me realize that subs don't matter, views don't matter, comments don't even matter. What really matters is people are sat getting into the videos and really enjoying them, and it made my day, and it actually it just shows me why I'm doing this thing. It's for, it's for that. That is why I'm doing it. It was amazing. But the person coming into the mate's base today is my new friend, Jack Longson. Jack, you are the mate of episode 36. And it's an absolute pleasure to put you on the end wall. Pride of place, the end wall of this underground mate's base area. Real pleasure to have you, Jack. Thank you so much for watching the videos with such enthusiasm and such enjoyment. It actually humbles me that you enjoy them that much. Let's get ourselves back over because we've got a very very important thing to do so i'm back on the core of the abamancia peninsula because we have got an important job to do it is time to go over live to prize draw central to find out who the winner of the june competition is let's get over there now and we are in competition central very exciting time we are going to be doing our draw and you can see I have got on the left hand side like the last two months we've got our random number generator and we've also on the right hand side got all the competition entries for June so this is the number of competition entries we have slightly less sadly and disappointingly than we had last month which is always a bit of a shame so here we go I'm just going to scroll really slowly so everybody can see that they are in there here we go, we are going through, we are showing the names that people have said they would like on their house. Now we do have a little bit of a consortium going on with a few people in this one and that is perfectly legal. They have manually got together and said if we win, if one of us wins, then we can have a joint house and that is absolutely fine. So there is one little consortium going on, which I never actually thought that had ever happened, but there you go. But these are all the names that we've got from who's number one from captain crazy carrot who got in there super super fast all the way down to game decap with wife decap and son decap at number 66 so it is one to 66 that is the call out for today so i'm going to put in 66 into the max one in the min now each of these have got an absolutely equal chance of winning there is no bias towards number one or no bias towards it being in the middle. Everyone is equally able to win, which is the whole reason I use this number generator. So we are going to generate the winner for June, who is going to get their house made some point in the next few weeks. And it is number 38. So if you can be seen on the screen right now, I'm terribly sorry, but you haven't won. Number 38 is... Coming through, oh, it's very exciting, it's very exciting, 36, 37, Angel, it was really nearly you, it's Meow Knight, sorry Sir Tish, you're one too high, Meow Knight, you are the winner, 
of this month's competition. Massive congratulations to you. <laughs> and I really, really look forward to making you a house on Averdale Keys. It'll be a superb to have you there. Fantastic. Also, just to let you know, we are having a month off from the competition. Because the entries are going down a little bit, I want to try and keep it fresh. So we're going to have a month off of the competition. So no July competition, but we'll probably... No commitments. This is not a legal document. Probably bring it back in August because I think the treasure hunts, are, they're actually quite fun to make for me. And I think a lot of you do enjoy them. So we'll probably bring it back in August, but nothing for July. So don't panic. You've not missed the video. I just aren't doing one for July. It's just a shame there were just fewer entries in this one. Um, so I'm just going to give it a bit of a breather. Anyway, come on, back to the peninsula. So congratulations, meow. No, look at me. I've Got an arrow in me back. Some, somebody had a go at me on the way here. Could you tell? Look, oh, no, it's gone now. Brilliant. I, I'm, I'm much better. I feel much better. Congratulations, Meow Knight. You will be getting a house over there on Averdale Keys. I shall be doing that fairly soon, uh, possibly the next episode, actually. And we will get that one going for you. Really looking forward to making it. Also, in the background, look, all their walls come back. So that's quite a nice, effective way of making a wall farm. If you'd like a wall farm full tutorial for like a big, massive system with uh, an item sorcerer and stuff like that, do let me know and perhaps I'll run a tutorial. And that'd be quite fun, actually. I might enjoy doing that. If you have enjoyed this video, please do make sure you slap that like button. It'd be great to know you enjoyed them and I will keep on making them. And if you haven't done it already, please do hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and my notification squad. Oh, yes, it will. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.